It's a call nobody wants to get. Your house is on fire. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. Or bringing her kids to school about 9 a.m., that dreaded call became Sandy Hoosier's reality. It was, it was gone before I got back. There wasn't anything safe. There wasn't nothing they could do. She found smoke pouring out of the windows. Flames firefighters say reached 20 feet above the second floor. Her house off Highway 96 near Buna reduced to rubble. I hope I can salvage. I don't think I will be able to, but I hope I can. Trying to salvage what she can from these piles of debris. They hold more than just dust and dirt. They hold memories. Their dad passed away two years ago, so I'm hoping that we can find some of his stuff. That was, you know, that's, I hate that for them. No one was hurt, but Buna firefighters say it's one of the worst fires they've worked this year. Not far away, Sour Lake firefighters were also put to the test. It's the largest uh, single structure fire we've had in the several years here, yes. A fire off Highway 105. Oh, you probably had, you know, 20 foot flames, and as it progressed throughout the attic, uh, uh, it ran ahead of us. We couldn't get ahead of it, didn't have the water volume to get ahead, ahead of it. Flames destroying a home, but sparing the family living there. We were on our way to Beaumont um, trying to get an algebra calculator and uh, heading home. Somebody messaged me on Facebook and asked where I lived and told us that there was a house fire. A second family left with very little. We just hope this is a better beginning for us and we know God was with us through this. Both thankful they're alive. In Southeast Texas, Haley Bull, Fox 4 News.